Okay, a great way to attack somebody and break them down. Okay, wrestling is all 45 degree angles. All right, so I'm going to attack a 45 and drive. Okay, I don't want to pull back. I don't want to put my own hip on the mat. But I'm going to attack this arm by going under. I'm not hooking over. All right, because tomorrow you'll learn why we're not going to do that. Okay, I'm not. I'm not going to hook over. I'm going to hook under, not with the near arm, the forearm. Hook under the elbow, grab the wrist, or as near to the wrist as you can. If you want to grab with two hands and you don't feel like you're getting too high, that's okay. All right, I'm going to grab here. I'm not going to pull. When I pull, what happens to my hips? They fall off, right? Okay, you may not exactly do that. You may be able to stay a little bit tighter, but normally that's a bad idea. So instead of doing that, okay, we're going to attack our 45 and drive right here. So I'm attacking, I'm driving that shoulder to the mat like that. Okay? Sometimes your face will hit the mat when you do that, and that's okay, you're already ugly. Alright? So from here, what we're going to do, we're not ever going to move our hip back. That's a bad idea. Instead, okay, we're not going to put our head down. We're going to grab the wrist and we're going to put it up over our head. Okay? Right here. Put your hand over your head, partner. Partner, when they're doing this to you, put your hand up over your head, your arm up over your head. Now just lay it on that. Okay. Alright. First mistake people make. People do not reinforce the leg, okay? Reinforce the leg as soon as you can. Over, or under, over, right there. All right, under, over. All right, that keeps that leg from popping out. But now you don't have your foot to push on the mat with. So instead of using our foot, you get our palm out here and push, push. All right, I'm not leaning back. I can, I can arch a little bit, that'll help. I'm going to use my palm to push. That puts this tricep where it needs to be and solves problem number two. Problem number two is people get about here, they know they're going to win, they get all greedy. They let go of everything too soon and they just reach for the head. When they reach for the head, see I'm behind the shoulder? Can everybody see I'm behind the shoulder? When I go down, that shoulder is going to be up off the mat. I'm, I won't pin them. I'll cause a lot of pain, but I won't pin them. Okay, so instead of doing that, I'm going to use my palm to push in the mat, and that puts my tricep over the shoulder. So instead of being behind the shoulder, I want to be over the shoulder. I go under the head, over the shoulder. It causes a little bit of pain for me. My shoulder is a little sore here. All right, my knee and my ankle is a little sore down there. There's a lot of twisting going on. My only consolation is it hurts him a whole lot more than it hurts me. All right, so now I'm going to lean back. When the ref starts counting near fall, I'm legally allowed to lock my hands. My elbow will slip under his neck. When I start squeezing, which I'm not going to do, but in a match, I'm going to start squeezing. He'll never want to wrestle me again in his life. It, it hurts that bad. All right? Let's come over here and face that way. Okay? Again, work. When you go through this, do it the first time. Do it slowly and solve your two main problems. Okay? Go here. Drive. Okay? Get that shoulder down. Grab the wrist. Over your head, reinforce the leg as soon as you can. There. Okay. I didn't move. I'm not going to go on this move until I've got that. Because he'll roll through on me. Okay. Go over the shoulder. Come back. I don't have to go fast from here. Okay. The match is going to end. Give it a try. Fix the two problems, all right? One, two, three.